Hi everyone, Micah here from ebikeschool.com, and welcome back to part four of a five-part series showing you how to build an electric bicycle battery. In parts one through three, we designed our battery, we welded it, and then we added our BMS. Now we've got technically a fully working battery, but we still need to seal it somehow. Now the two most common methods of sealing a lithium battery are either using heat shrink wrap or putting it in some kind of hard case. And I'm gonna do a combination of both. I'm going to start by putting it in heat shrink to show you how to do that, and then I'm going to put the whole thing in this uh, frog style electric bicycle battery hard case. This is an old case I have. Um, I took a, a battery out of this a while ago and I haven't used it for anything, so I figure this is a good chance to use it. But let's start with the heat shrink. Now some people like to just take their battery and put it straight in heat shrink like this, but uh, I prefer to take a layer of foam, like this uh, one millimeter thick EVA craft foam, and put it around the battery first, just to give it a little more uh, padding and protection before I put it in the heat shrink. Now if I was going to be putting this battery in a bag instead of a case, then I'd probably use a thicker foam, like a two or three millimeter foam. But since this is going in a hard case, this thin foam is going to be fine. So before I take this heat shrink, I'm first going to lay out my foam and put my battery on it so I can figure out how much foam I need. And then I'm just going to cut out a pattern to fit my battery. And then I'm just going to wrap my battery up. And I can use that same capped on tape that I used before to tape the battery closed. And now I can take this and put it in my heat shrink. So I like to measure out a piece of heat shrink that's um, just about 10% or so bigger than, uh, than the actual battery itself. So I'll lay this out and I'll cut it out um, you know, about, about here or so. You can see this is not an exact science. Alright, now you can see I've got a lot of extra material in here, so I'm going to cut this back a bit. This is a bit long. All right. And that seems a bit more reasonable. Now I can take a heat gun, or I'm just using a hair dryer here, and, um, and go ahead and heat this heat shrink. I like to start at the ends to make sure I capture the end, and then I shrink the middle. heat shrinked battery. Now if I was going to be using this in a bag, I would probably put one more piece of heat shrink this way, that way I'm covering up the ends too, but this is going to go inside of a plastic case, so I'm not really worried about the ends. Alright, now please don't laugh at my case. I know uh, she looks a little old, but uh, she'll hold. <laughs> so now I've got to make a few connections here. I've got my charger connector here. I've got my, uh, this is my charger negative connector. I've got my discharge negative connector here. And um, on the back side here, I've got my positive discharge and my positive charger connector, which these are actually going to go together. So I'll start with the negative connections here. And uh, let's start by putting some heat shrink on these wires. Let's do the discharge connector first here. Get the big guy out of the way. I need some bigger heat shrink than that. So I've pre-tinned these wires, and this is going to be a little, a little hairy, but uh, we should be fine here. Slide that heat shrink on over there. I think that heat shrink is going to be a little big, but we'll wrap that afterwards. Next we've got our charge connector here. Make that connection. Let's 
go ahead and shrink those guys. And now if we spin this around, we've got our positive connection here, which just goes to both charge and discharge. Here's the charger fuse, here's the discharge fuse. So let's see what's the best way to wire this guy in. I think if we bring it around something like, something like this, and put these guys together, I think that'll work. So let's do that. See how that works. These are not going to be the best solder jobs I've ever done. I can tell you that. All right. Let's slide our heat shrink over. All right. Now the last thing that we want to do is we want to pack some padding in here. So I'm going to take just some foam padding that I have and see how well we can pad the side of this battery. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. And now before we close this up, let's just test with a voltmeter to make sure that we've wired everything correctly here. So we're at 35.1 volts. If we check the charger connector, 35.1 volts. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and put the top on. Make sure all the wires are out of the way here. And that's all there is to it once you've closed up your battery case. Now I've got a fully functional 36 volt, 14 amp hour electric bicycle battery. The last step is going to be choosing a charger. And we're going to talk about that in part five. So stick around for part five, and thanks for watching.